Möglichkeiten, an der Küste entlang zu fahren, Sonnenschein zu genießen und sie haben auch äh, Gewitter zu überstehen und das alles in 1080p. Sie haben dort actiongeladene Spiele, sie können durch die Wälder rasen, sie können auf den Straßen driften und das ist ein Spiel, in dem die Freiheit alles untermauert. Horizon 2 hat eine äh, große Menge von Autos, und zwar 200 Autos. Sie können ihnen unglaubliche äh, Events äh, in ganz Europa hier vermitteln. Und wir glauben, dass äh, Spaß, Schönheit und äh, Freiheit von Horizon 2 am besten von Ihnen mit Ihren Freunden zusammen äh, gespielt werden können. Wir können also 1000 Spielerclubs haben. Wir haben Instant äh, Multiplayer Funktionen. Wir haben äh, Co-op-Wettkämpfe. Wir haben äh, Dedicated Server. Und das wird dann äh, so sein, dass äh, Forza Horizon 2 das sozialste Spiel sein wird, das Sie jemals gesehen haben. Schauen wir uns das einmal an. Car culture and festival culture are both inherently social. Das alles ist sozial. In Forza Horizon 2 ist also sehr sozial. Und wir wollen, dass alle äh, sich eher verbunden fühlen. Und sie können also sehr viel gemeinsam mit ihren Freunden tun. Sie können Autorennen durchführen. Und sie werden immer mit der Welt ihrer Freunde in Verbindung stehen. Your friends drive cars explore the open world with you, even when they aren't online. You can challenge them to street races or follow them to hidden secrets in the world. Rivals challenges and speed cameras allow you to compete with your friends asynchronously and at any point you can pull up the map Sie können also auf der Karte zu jeder Zeit feststellen, wo Ihre Freunde gerade bei diesem Spiel sind. Und äh, beim Online-Spiel können Sie sicherstellen, dass Sie also hier äh, gemeinsam spielen können, ohne warten zu müssen. Und Sie können das also alles online machen. Sie werden feststellen, das ist leicht zu machen, das ist viel Spaß, guter Unterhaltungswert. Und das ist sehr wichtig für Forza, dass wir die Community haben. Wir können bis zu 1000 Spieler zusammenführen führen, die gemeinsam äh, spielen. Und was sie damit vorsam machen, das hängt von ihnen ab. Sie können mit ihren engsten Freunden spielen und äh, sie können also weltweit spielen. Wir haben ihnen die Tools gegeben, um sich diesen Clubs anschließen zu können. Wir haben Car Meets, which is a great place to go and socialize, chat and show off your liveries or your tunes. If you're a really talented painter, you can enter a Car Meet and show off your latest design. Anyone else that's in there can take a look and at the touch of a button download your design for their own car. King and Infected were two really popular online game modes from the original Horizon. In Forza Horizon 2, we decided to build the perfect arenas from the ground up. Each one of these arenas is designed with jumps and smashable items everywhere, taking full advantage of the open world. We have two main ways to play online. An online road trip will take you on a tour of the world from destination to destination and then everyone in the session will vote on where the road trip goes next. In online free roam, it's entirely up to you what you do. You and the people in your session can do whatever you like. Start races, play co-op challenges, hunt for secrets and collectibles together or just cruise around. There are no rules. The world and everything in it are yours to explore together. This is an incredibly social game. In every sense, we've reimagined what a truly next-gen online experience should be. You can play it however you want, do whatever you want. We'd like Horizon 2 to be a game that you play with friends, but maybe even a game in which you can make new friends. Road trip is a very directed tour of the world. Everybody in the session is, is taken to a destination. They'll compete in a championship there. When that's finished, the winner is crowned, and everyone votes on where to go on, on to next. In online free roam, we really want you to make your own fun. So we make everything that's available in the solo game available online. So you can do races, you can do playground games, you can do cooperative bucket list challenges. It's all there. You can even go and find collectibles, hunt for barn finds with your friends. However you want to play the game, 
we're enabling you to do it with your friends online. So let's talk about those barn finds and the collectibles. I mean, that was one of the, the best things about Horizon, in my opinion, is just pootling around the world, knocking all those things off the list. They're back for Horizon 2, right? They're back, and I think they're better than ever. Um, so we've, we've taken the, um, the opportunity to refresh those cars, so now more than half of them are cars you will never have seen before in the Forza franchise, which makes it extra special when you discover them. I guess the trade-off there is that with our truly open world, we have just so much more space to hide those barns in. Right. I think it's going to take you a little bit more time to find them, but you know, it's, it's really going to be worth it to find one of those unique, never before seen in Forza cars yeah. and restore it to pristine. Okay, so let's talk about cars. We've got 200 in the game. 200 plus available 200 plus, from sorry. September 30th for everyone. All right, so tell me, you know, call out some of your, your highlights, your favorites, well, you, uh, and some interesting stuff. In this so game. my favorites are the interesting ones. You know, I mean, it's great to have the Lamborghini Huracan as our, as our cover car. I think yeah. people are going to be excited to play it. It's never been in a game before. Um, we have some extreme off-roaders as well, as it befits our, you know, our truly open world and the all-terrain nature of it. We have the Dodge Ram Runner, we have the uh, local motors Rally Fighter, really challenging off-road cars, but my favourites are the, the cult classics, the personality cars. We have a 1945 Willys Jeep, nice. we have a 63 Volkswagen camper van. Mm -hmm. These are great fun cars to, to upgrade, maybe to engine swap, and then take out on the road. And of course, you're getting all that amazing Forza detail we're used to. Can we switch back to um, in-car? As I know the hardcore Forza fans love this. And, you know, windscreen wipers occurred to me the other night. If you're chucking in dynamic weather, you have to think about windscreen wipers quite a lot of it, right? They, they all move now, and that's, that's one of the things that we have to do to make a car uh, horizonified, we actually call it in the, in the studio. There's a whole bunch of tasks that we have to do. We have to animate the, the windscreen wipers, and you will not struggle to believe that all of them are animated in exactly the correct way. Uh, but we also make the dash illuminate, again, as the real car will. Um, we have to make it get wet, so inside and out. Um, our audio guys tell me that we have different sound effects for the windscreen wipers, whether you're inside the car or outside it. Nice. That's the detail we go to. That's amazing. So let's talk about off-road as well. Again, one of the really important parts of Horizon 1 back I guess right it's, it's back and we're doing lots lots more of, of it and the map is I think three times bigger in terms of the drivable space mm -hmm. you know and that's not necessarily roads that's fields of crops that's vineyards that's forests and hills um, and once you get into the game once you really get into the flow of it um, we're really teaching you to go off the beaten track to find the best route to wherever you're going Forza has done a great job of training people to follow the green line over the years yeah. we're kind of disabusing you of that notion a little bit and encouraging you to find your own route and it's just crazy fun to barrel over hills and through fields going to your next destination and the thing we really have to drive home here is that you'll